Thank you and good morning. Breast cancer is the most frequent cancer in women worldwide. The pain, suffering, and financial costs of the global burden of this disease is expanding exponentially. In fact, every single year worldwide, out of over 2 billion adult women who are at screening age, more than 2 million women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. And every year, year after year, more than 600,000 women will die of this disease. Our current emphasis on late-stage disease treatment is costly and ineffective, and this is true both for breast cancer and, in fact, all solid tumor cancers. There is universal agreement that screening and early detection is the key to cure, and yet we have two very specific challenges. Our current tools to predict risk of future breast cancer are not accurate. I'll show you data for that in a moment. While they can separate out groups of patients that are more likely or less likely to have breast cancer, they do not perform at the individual level. We also know that the access to the benefits of mammography are extremely limited. First, there is wide human variation in interpretation accuracy, so there is no single performance of screening mammography. It is the best tool we have, but it really depends on who interprets that mammogram, which human interprets that mammogram, on how that mammography will perform for that individual woman. And quite simply, we have lack of humans to read the literally billions of exams worldwide to have this test be accessible to all the women at risk for this disease. So our team decided that we would ask the question, can the mammogram itself predict a woman's future risk of breast cancer? There are some very preliminary uh, studies that have shown that just a very crude method of dense, not dense, can in, um, enhance a future risk prediction model for breast cancer, but we wondered if with the tools of AI, we could actually glean much more from the mammogram. Because we know that everyone's mammogram is in fact unique to that individual woman. When I'm reading mammograms, if by some, uh, for some reason a mammogram of another patient was mistakenly placed into the bin with um, a different patient, I will know that because every woman's mammogram is unique to her, like a fingerprint. So we took these mammograms and we predicted and trained our model to predict whether that woman would develop breast cancer in five years in the future. We had a very large training set. We require um, in our studies that we have only high volume, high quality, modern, all digital mammograms. These are curated by experts. We are linked with tumor registries so we know the specific outcome of these patients in the future. And it is this method of consecutive mammograms that are not biased or not selective that provides us with the most accurate uh, modeling that is available. So with our training set of almost 72,000 exams and our held out test set of 8751 exams, we were able to develop a risk model that far surpasses any of the risk models that are currently available now to women. The area under the curve of our risk model, which is based on only the mammogram with no other traditional risk factor data, is 0.69. The best traditional risk models available to women now, um, for example, the tire acoustic version 7 performs at only 0.51 AUC. When tire acoustic adds breast density into their model, they increase to 0.62. But when we, with using the power of AI, take the entire mammogram and allow our model to seek patterns not visible to the human eye, we can improve significantly the ability to predict a woman's future risk. And when we further add in traditional risk factor models, our AUC climbs to 0.71. Our deep learning model is accurate across diverse races. Almost all of the models have been developed on European Caucasian women, and they do not perform across diverse races. So for example, the tr traditional risk models perform at 0.62 in white women and are worse than chance performing at 0.45 AUC in African American women. Our models are race blind and perform equally across the diversity of races um, of women at risk for this disease. We then turned to the question, can we develop deep learning models that actually assess cancer on the current mammogram? 
we didn't want to train the model to read like a human. We wanted the model to be better than a human. So the outcome that we're focused on is breast cancer being diagnosed within that woman within the year of the mammogram. Every time I sit to read a mammogram, there are two questions I have to answer. What is this woman's breast density? And is there any reason to suspect cancer in this woman whose mammogram I'm interpreting? You would think that humans could become fairly expert at assessing breast density. We have um, very high standards in the US and Europe for what is required to be a breast imager that's certified. So we did a study of 85 certified US breast radiologists and asked the question, uh, how often do they assess mammograms as being dense? At one end of the spectrum, a radiologist said 6% of mammograms are dense. At the other end, a radiologist said 85% of mammograms are dense, and everything in between. And yet, this is the method, this wide human variation to assess breast density is the method that now is a federal mandate that everyone needs to be informed of. So we thought we could do better. We developed a model that showed 97% agreement with expert readers in the test setting. This is implemented in routine clinical practice at Mass General and shows 94% agreement with human readers in routine clinical practice. So the second question, is there any reason to suspect cancer? Again, there is no single performance metric for screening mammography. There is wide variation. We published in 2017 on millions of screening mammograms read by hundreds and hundreds of certified breast radiologists in the US and found that 40% of US certified breast imaging radiologists perform outside the recommended ranges for acceptable specificity in interpreting mammograms. So we thought we could improve upon this. We had a testing set of over 200,000 screening mammograms. They were all linked to tumor registries. They were modern, all digital screening mammograms and a held out test set of over 26,000 exams. Our model AUC performed at 0.85, which compares comparably to community certified physicians of about 0.87 and our MGH expert MDs at 0.92. This is our first version showing that we can both identify cancers with our deep learning model and importantly, we can also identify false positives, removing the burden of the harms of screening mammography when women undergo unnecessary tests and unnecessary biopsies after a screening mammogram. We showed that we can remove 20% of mammograms from human review with no impact on our very high sensitivity and high specificity um, at MGH radiology. So how are we different? There are many in this domain. It is the rigor of process for our data collection. We only um, use methods with consecutive, unbiased collection of more than a million all digital modern images. We have a true screening population that is not um, biased by symptomatic patients. We are linked to cancer tumor registries, and these are curated by expert breast imagers. Our expertise includes the power and synergy of partners, MGH Breast Imaging and MIT, we have deep knowledge of the prior failures of traditional CAD methods applied to screening mammography, and we know that reader studies have rarely predicted performance and actual practice, which is why we emphasize the importance of our clinical implementation. The rigor of our scientific methods, our external validation, and clinical implementation cannot be stressed enough. We continue to publish the rigorous peer review process. We've externally validated our models in academic and community hospitals. This is in routine clinical practice at MGH for breast density assessment. We have filed patents and invention disclosures, and we're ready for commercialization beyond partners. I just want to close by saying none of this would be possible without the incredible passion that our team members bring to this work. We have breast imagers that came to MGH radiology because they wanted to be part of the change to improve the lives of our patients today and tomorrow. Dr. Regina Barzile is a breast cancer survivor herself, a MacArthur genius, an expert in AI, and she brings a passion and a dedication to change the field of breast cancer for not only those today, but in the future as well. I would love to continue the conversation, and I appreciate your attention. Thank you.